Yep, this is the life, Bangu. The sound of the waves crashing, the seagulls squawking, the smell of the fresh ocean air. <sighs> Hi everyone, my name is Bindi and I'm here at Shell Harbour City Library with my friend Bangu on our very own beach. Do you like to pretend play? Did you know that you can use your imagination to take you anywhere in the world? You might like to go to a forest with tall trees, or you might like to go to a park with a swirly, whirly slide. You might even want to go to the snow to build a snowman. Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, yep, Angu, it doesn't get any better than this. Ah. <sighs> Was that Bangu? I think Bangu wants to tell me something. You're absolutely right. There is one thing that can make this beach trip even better. And that is reading a story. I love to read books when I'm at the beach. Do you? And today's story is Sandcastle, and it's written and illustrated by Philip Bunting and published by Ellen and Unwin. And here's how the story goes. This is Ray. Ray loves the beach. Ray wants to build a magnificent sandcastle. Would you like some help? Says Grandad. First, Ray and Grandad build a very tall tower. Next, they raise the ramparts. Then they dig a deep moat. They even find a dragon. Look at that dragon. I have never seen a dragon like that before. It's bright orange with big googly eyes and it looks like it has seaweed for hair. And it has big clippity nippity nippers. At last, the sandcastle is complete. And it is magnificent. Oh, and look, there's Grandad waving to Ray as he plants his red flag at the very top of the castle. Ray and Grandad eat fish and chips while the tide creeps closer. Do you think the moat will keep out the sea? Asks Ray. Grandad says nothing. The ramparts will hold the tide, won't they? Asks Ray. Grandad says nothing. Oh dear, it looks as though the castle might be starting to crumble into the sea. Even the tower is gone says Ray. Don't worry, says Grandad. The sandcastle is still here. You just can't see it. What do you mean? asks Ray. The sandcastle was made of many grains of sand, says Grandad. Sand that has been here for a very long time. The sandcastle may be gone, but everything that made it is still here and always will be. Uh, I think I understand, says Ray. Hmm, there's Ray looking at sand in the palm of his hand. I wonder what Ray is thinking. As the tide goes out, Ray begins to build another sandcastle. And it is magnificent. Wow. Look at that sandcastle and look at Ray standing all the way at the top. That was a fantastic story, wasn't it, Bangu? I really enjoyed it. Makes me want to go to the beach and build a magnificent sandcastle, just like Ray and his granddad did. If you enjoyed today's story time and you'd like to hear more story times, all you need to do is go to the Shell Harbour City Library website and click on the Storybox Library tab and you'll find plenty of story times. Thank you so much for joining us today. 
We hope to see you soon. Bye.